All right, guys. So welcome to the last and final Grand Theft Auto of the Definitive Edition Collection. Welcome to part two, finally, of Grand Theft Auto 3, the Definitive Edition. When the Definitive Edition first came out, I played one episode of San Andreas, Vice City, and GTA 3. Then I started chipping away at all the San Andreas videos, then Vice City. And now we're at GTA 3, which is, like I've been saying, I think the only GTA that I've never really finished. And everything that we will be playing moving forward will all basically be new to me. So I'm really, really excited about this. So thank you for being here. Welcome back. We are back in Liberty City. And I kind of like how this game kind of semi-connects to San Andreas or San Andreas kind of connects to this one. Um, with CJ and, and his girlfriend, his crazy girlfriend. Um... And we see, uh, we see Claude as well in, in San Andreas. Anyways, there we go. Taking out the laundry. Take a goddamn seat. So the laundry won't pay any protection, huh? The triads think they can mess with me? Let's teach these would-be tough guys what it means to be a tough guy. Yeah, no, sorry, Ma. Yes, Ma. I want you to destroy their laundry vans and mangle any triad gimp that gets in your way. Eight Ball can supply you with what you're gonna need. We're gonna go to Eight Ball, which I think that's where the gun is. Yeah, that corner lot over there. Right, so I'm hoping we get some decent guns. If not, I'm thinking I'm probably just really going to head over to the ammunition to get some guns. If there's three vans like we see here, what is that? Oh, that's a grenade. Yep. If there's really three vans, um, the best way to flush those vans out are going to be probably with bullets, not with a grenade. I mean, unless I can somehow throw the grenades out of the window, then if not, it's really not going to work. And I'm also going to get a truck as it's probably going to be a much better much better fit for this job. All right, hold on. Okay, is that ammunition right here down the down the road? Ooh, that's a good truck too. I really do feel like a truck is gonna come in handy in this mission for sure. <laughs> I love how you just walk over the guns now. <laughs> All right, you know what, sir? I'm gonna steal your truck. Oh, God. Oh, come on, stupid cops. All right, well, we've got a cop star here, so this is good. <laughs> oh, there's two vans right there, back to back. Oh, dude, that's clutch. Wow, that is super clutch. Oh my god, that's perfect. Oh, dude. That is so perfect. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. As long as they don't split up, we're gonna be okay. Perfect. Yes! Yo, that was so clutch. Oh, there's the other one here! <laughs> Bro, they just came at me! Are you kidding me? They just came to me! You're so stupid! Oh my god. That is clutch. That was awesome. <laughs> they just, I don't know why, but they came at me like, Hello, you guys are pretty dumb. All right, so now we're headed back, um, back to where we just came from for the first mission. Yeah, I knew, I knew getting this truck was gonna come in clutch. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Tie off, making people bleed. 
Or tried to. He'll never be as tough as his pop. But he left you a note on the table. The laundry has agreed to pay. You did real good, kid. Go collect the cash and bring it back here. Watch out for the triads. They may be shoving a firecracker up your ass. But don't take no crap. Nobody, I mean nobody, messes with Tony Cipriani. Tony Capriani. Alright, so. You know what? I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take the same truck. Speed up truck. Let's see what we got. Isn't that the same laundromat we were, uh did a mission at we shot up the place right isn't that this oh no that's somewhere different okay take a little shortcut <laughs> all right hold up what is this oh shit oh these guys are coming at me with bats that's funny that is actually hilarious. You know why? Because I got... Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I just ran I was going to throw some grenades at him, but... You know... Hold up. <laughs> Get the cash back to Tony's. <coughs> Excuse me. What cash? Is there cash in this truck? Oh my god. I can't believe that happened. They're so dumb. I was gonna throw a grenade at him, but then, I don't know, I saw him so close to me, I just decided to switch my uh, strategy. And well, in doing so, what? That happened. That's okay. Hmm. Avatora is called a meeting. Don Salvatore has called a meeting. I need you to collect the limo and his boy Joey from the garage. Then get Luigi from his club. Come back here and pick me up. Then we'll all drive over to the boss's place together. Those triads, Boss. they don't know when to stop. They want a war, they got a war. Now get going. I love how it's like he just leaves a note. Some sort of messenger, uh, messenger pigeon or something. Like, bro, why don't you just talk to me in person what's up with the disrespect all right sorry sir i know you look like a man of high status but i quite frankly don't give a shit all right so there we go <laughs> oh my god get out of this get out of this oh oh my god i was so stupid this episode has been an absolute mess full of destruction and chaos. Oh, we gotta drive the limo anyways. How you doing? All right, so. <clears throat> Oof, this is a long limo. We're now gonna go and pick up Luigi. That sounds such, like such an Italian name. Luigi. Luigi. I love it. Okay, so here we're gonna bust a right. Yo, what? What the hell was that for? Oh my god. Uh-oh. 
I go through here? We've met the boss before. This is going to be interesting. It's crazy to think how old this game is, bro. Like, this game is so old. Right, here we go. All right, last one. Come on, come on, let's go, bro. Can you move any slower? Sheesh. <clears throat> no fancy crap. Of course. Of course. Oh my god. You've got to be shitting me. What? Huh? No way, bro. There is no fucking way. Hold on, bro. <laughs> oh, those grenades came in handy. <laughs> Destruction! What the fuck? Oh my god! Dude, this episode has been insane. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. This is crazy, dude. I didn't think that was gonna work. Usually shit like that fails. Good back there, kid. Real good. Come on, let's introduce you to the Don. Hey, Luigi. Oh, my girls have been missing you so long, Salvatore. You've been away too you long. You tell them once this unfortunate business is taken care of, we'll all go down to the club and celebrate, okay? Here's my boy. How you doing, Pop? You got yourself a good woman yet? Hey, your mother, God bless her soul, will be turning over in her grave to see you without a wife. I know, Pop. I'm working on it. Tony! How's your mama? She's a great woman, you know, strong, Firenze. She's good. Fine. Terrific, <coughs> terrific. Now, listen, you guys, you go inside while I talk to our new friend here. I see nothing but good things for you, my boy. All right. Working for the boss now, huh? Chaperone. You fellas need to talk business, so you're going to look after my girl for the evening. Hey, Maria, move your butt. Dumb broad does this every time. And here she is, the one and only Queen of Sheba. What were you doing up there? Whatever it was, I bet it cost me money. Well, you don't think I hang around here for the conversation, do you? Get in the car and keep your big mouth shut. <laughs> Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She can be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, Fido, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown <laughs> waterfront, I think. I just realized this. Um, I might be mistaken, but... Our guy doesn't talk in this game? Am I going crazy? Well, he does in the beginning, right? Man, I don't, I don't remember his voice now. Holy smokes! Wow, that's crazy. I mean, that was very common back in the days too, where your main character didn't speak, which is really stupid. But it was a very common thing. That's probably why you don't get as much uh, in-car dialogue as you do in other Grand Theft Auto games. And in other GTA games, or uh, excuse me, Rockstar games in general. That's Chico over there. Pull up next to him. Ah, mira, it's my favorite lady. You're looking for some fun? A little of mm, some spank? Hey, Chico. Nah, just the usual. Here you go, lady. Hey, maybe you should check out the warehouse party at the East End of Atlantic Keys. Mm, thanks, Chico. See you around. Gracias. 
and enjoy. That's good stuff. Yo, it's so bad. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the party Chico recommended. All right, well, that's okay. Fine. You know what? It is what it is. Tonight's gonna be a night of parties, and it's probably gonna go terribly wrong because that is basic common Grand Theft Auto logic. You go somewhere, shit hits the fan, and guess what? You gotta get out of it. That's kind of like the contract that you sign up to every time you play this game or these sorts of games. Party's up ahead. Drop Maria off. Well, I go shake my butt. raid what do you want me to do i told you shit hits the fan oh my god <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> oh my god a chain link fence stops a full-fledged limousine in its tracks and someone just died Oh no, this is not good. Well, at least the limo is actually not that slow. We gotta go to a uh, pay and spray. Ah, oh, yikes. Bro, leave me alone. I haven't done anything. Oh, it's a two star. Fuck, this sucks. Bro, this is bad. This is bad. And this car cannot get any freaking slower right now. <laughs> this car cannot get any slower. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on in this episode? You see what you guys done? You just killed a woman. Poor innocent woman. Bro, this limo is so slow. Oh my god. All right, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm not about to fail this. Wow. My car almost blew up, by the way. Just saying. Just going to put that out there. It almost blew up. You know, I enjoyed myself for the first time in a long while. And you, you know, you treated me really good with respect and everything. I don't know. I'll see you around. <laughs> it's a nice ass little crib, huh? This is a nice crib here, man. All right, go. Cutting the grass. Leave us alone for a minute. Oh, it's raining inside the house. The Colombian cartel is making spank somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where. And they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work. So <clears throat> follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him. Hmm. This has got to be the most stone cold killer in Grand Theft Auto history. This guy doesn't say a word. Park out the front of Luigi's Club. Early Bob will be. He doesn't say a damn word. He just. Listen, you. Just give him an order. He'll do it. He won't say he hot, but nothing. He just does it. Stone cold killer, bro. This man is. This man is dangerous. Alright, so. I like this car. It's really fast. It's a 
that's good. So we're gonna go to Luigi's place, right? On this way. Oh God. Oh, come on. too close okay 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 oh man i almost failed that it's been a while since i've seen this type of mission i don't think we had it in, in vice city we had it in san andreas but I'm gonna kill this guy. Probably gonna run him over because I've only got 25 bullets on my Mac. Oh shit. It's about to go down. Alright, perfect. goes I'm gonna take my time with it I'm gonna bust the right oh he got off huh here comes our little friend mr <laughs> big mouth himself look who it is you followed you know what goes on here is our little secret I'm no no I, I wasn't followed you got my stuff here's your spank squeal now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Forellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore is becoming dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? Whack Curly Bob. Whack him or run him over? I think run him over, right? <laughs> that was CJ's crazy girl, by the way. <laughs> and well, now he did. Curly Bob is dead. I've got some urgent work for you, Tony. Love We're at war. The Triads have a fish factory as a front. Most of their business goes down at the fish market in Chinatown. The laundry still owes us protection. They reckon the Triads are protecting them now, so I say we exact a fitting punishment. Take those boys over and whack the Triad warlords. Hell, if you get a chance, pop some of their soldiers, too. Oh, shit. All right. You're rolling deep, boys. You're rolling deep today. All right, so I'm definitely gonna go and I'm gonna go to an ammunition here real quick. Yeah, we're we're gonna go to the ammunition real quick. Yikes! My boys are strapped, but I'm not strapped. It's crazy, like there's more and more violence in this freaking city than ever before yo look at that shit what is going on what is going on out there <laughs> what the fuck is that bro are you kidding me
Get out the way! Get out the way, bro. Please get out the way. Oh my god. <laughs> such a mess this episode is such a mess oh my goodness I almost had the freaking clerk shoot at me too because I was causing havoc in his store but I mean what else was I supposed to do Bro, shoot them! What are you doing, morons? Hurry up, hurry up! Get in, get in, get in! Oh, dude, this is crazy shit, bro. This is bad. Oh, man, this car is gonna go to crap. I reckon we get another car. Guys, get out the car, get out the car. Trust me, I know my shit. That car is gonna blow up any second now. There's a freaking war. Let's go. China, China town. Perfect. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Oh my lord! Bro, what is this shit? Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, this is insane. This is so crazy. Alright. There's a little, a little hidden sanctuary over here. I don't even know how the hell. Oh, hold on. We've got a wanted level? Are you serious right now? Oh, this is great. <laughs> How the hell did he get in there? I shoot him from up here. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Talk about buckets <laughs> And everyone else died too Got some work for you Tony Alright thanks for the Mac ammo Oh dude that was hilarious Oh that was freaking hilarious This game is hilarious Alright so back at Tony's place I think that's the only uh, uh, person we can do missions for right now I feel like something very, very big is coming up. A turn of events, if you will. The Blowfish. Okay, I've had enough of this shit. We're gonna finish the triads in Liberty once and for all. Eight balls rigged a dust cart with a bomb. It's on a timer. So if you mess up, there'll be no evidence. Go and pick up the dust cart. Careful. Eight ball says it's real sensitive. And the slightest bump could set that thing off. Their fish factory wow. will open its gates for a dust cart. So you can drive right in, park up between the gas canisters, and get the hell out of there. I want it to rain mackerel. We're talking real biblical here. Nothing low budget. All right, so we can't crash the car. Yikes, that's going to be hard. I like how there's always, like, a car here. Why, why is... Oh, God, this car's already gone to shit. Oh, never mind. You know what? How? It's literally right there. What are you talking about? Oh, goodness. You know what? Good. There. I just wanted to do that so I could not be wanted anymore. Let me take this grenade out of here. <laughs> It's not good. 
So this is the fucking truck you give me that's armed? Are you kidding me? Oh god. We got less than three minutes to get there. I've got a garbage truck who's armed with a bomb. Any little bump will detonate the bomb in it. Well that's that's fantastic. I guess that works. Yikes. How far is this place? It's on the other side of the map. Get out the way, asshole. Perhaps this truck is more resilient considering it's 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 truck. Maybe we, we can manage to get hit a couple of times. And that that is not gonna help the cause. Ne neither is that. Getting shot at is not gonna help me here. <laughs> These people, man, are savages, man. And so we're gonna plant this shit over here. They're gonna open up the doors for us. We were just here too, by the way. This is where we banked that grenade in there. At least we don't have cops on our ass right now. Yikes. That's right, boys. Open up. That's right. Oh, we gotta park it by the... By the gas, right? Why are you guys exhausted? They look super exhausted. All you did was open a damn... Fence. The gate. My life. Oh. <laughs> I'm a stone cold killer. We should take these Colombian bastards <laughs> out, but while we're at war with the triads, we ain't strong enough. The cartel has got bottomless funds from pushing that spank crap. If we make an open attack on them, they'll wipe the floor with us. They must be making spank on that big boat that Curly led you to. So we gotta use our heads. Or rather, one head. Your head. <clears throat> I'm asking you to destroy that spank factory as a personal favor to me, Salvatore Leone. If you do this for me, you will be a made man. Anything you want. Go and see 8-Ball. You'll need his expertise <laughs> to blow up that boat. <clears throat> do we get made in this game? That'd be pretty cool. I love how um, related to the Mafia this game is. I really do. This is very, very heavily into like the Mafia, just like GTA 4. Which is pretty cool. Right, I, think, I think we should be okay if we go through here. All right. That works. <clears throat> Yo, my man. Salvatore phoned ahead, but a job like this is gonna need a lot of fireworks. I'll need $100,000 to cover expenses. But you know, with me, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Come back, brother, when you have the money. But we have $100,000, don't we? Yeah, I got 220,000, bro. What are you talking about? Okay, let's do this thing. I can set this baby to detonate, but I still can't use a piece with these hands. Here, this rifle shall help you pop some heads. <laughs> with these hands. <clears throat> Hell yeah. All right, so hold OT to target with the sniper. Perfect. Um, 
All right, let's get a different car, dude. That car is going to blow up on us. Go ahead and get this one. Press RT to fire the sniper rifle. See where exactly we got to go. Oh, God. Bro, the traffic in this game is amongst the worst, bro. Sheesh. Why do you always turn? Have you guys noticed? It might just be me. I'm pr pretty sure it's not. Whenever I play GTA games, the cars just launch themselves at me. Like, they always get in my way. Like, does that ever happen to you guys? It's like, dude, what's going on? Well, this is not the best weather to be sniping. And not the best time of day either. Well, this is dumb. It's fucking raining and it's dark as hell. Oh, bro, there's a lot of people here. And I don't even have a vest. Oh, man. All right, so the rain has stopped. It is now 520 in the morning, and I think we are good to go. Where's this guy? Perfect. Where is he? Did we get them all? Yeah, we did get them all. <laughs> Alright, let's go. with those hands bro that's hilarious that's some crazy shit that is crazy shit Got it done. I guess we're going back to the bows. It's my favorite cleaner. Mm. I'm proud of you, my boy. You kicked <laughs> the shit out of those grease balls. I just got one little job for you before we can all celebrate. There's a car around the block from Luigi's Club. The inside is covered in brains. We had to help some guy make up his mind, and it proved a little uh, messy. Take it to the crusher before the cops find it. Mm. The missions in this game are definitely much more straight to the point and shorter than the previous uh, installments of GTA. And I will say, just because I've been playing so much GTA recently, I, I actually appreciate that. It's a nice little change of pace. Some of the GTA missions, especially like in the modern day GTAs, man, some missions are long as heck. Just Rockstar games in general, like look at Red Dead Redemption 2. One mission can take you 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> this car dude holy smokes you know I totally did that on purpose for experimental reasons I knew it was gonna blow up I knew that if I didn't listen to the pager we'd we'd be dead but you know yeah so this is Maria the car's a trap 
Meet me at the slip south of Callahan Bridge. Why is it a trap? Why, why would the Don want to trap me? Why would he want me to die? It's fucked up. That's so fucked up. What the heck, dude? What happened, dude? Listen, Salvatore thinks that we're going behind his back, so he was offering you to the cartel in order to make a deal. I couldn't let him do that. I mean, the worst thing is, it's all my fault because I told him we were an item. Don't ask me what. I don't know. Look, you're a marked man on the mafia turf, and I've got to get out of here, too. I've seen too much killing, too much blood. I... Look, this is a friend of mine, okay? She's an old friend. It's, it's just so good. She's someone we could trust. Come on, enough of the speeches. We better get out of here before we get more hysterical Italians wanting less friendly reunions. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, this is so cool. I did not expect this. I did not expect this at all. Is this the other side of the... Oh, wait, is this another... Is this like a completely different part of the... Part of the game? Damn, I should have gone around. Because I know when we're on that side, we can't go through the bridge. So is this another part of the map? That would be fucking cool. Different part of Liberty City, possibly. That that'd be awesome. Oh. Asuka and I are gonna have to talk. Uh, why don't you go cruise around? You'll need a place to lie low. There's a warehouse at the edge of Belleville that should suit your needs. Come back here to my condo when you're ready, and you and me can have a little chat. Wow, dude. Marked man. No shit. Wow. Sayonara, Salvatore. We have certain issues to clear up before we continue any form of relationship, business or otherwise. Let's lay our cards on the table. I am Yakuza, and I know you worked for Salvatore Leone's family. I can give you work with our organization. But first, you must prove to me that your ties with the Mafia are truly broken. Salvatore Leone will be leaving Luigi's in about three hours' time. Make sure he doesn't reach his club alive. Meanwhile, Maria and I will catch up on old times. Oh, Asuka, you've got a massager. Wow. That's not a massager. <laughs> Alright, so we are definitely in a different part of the different part of town now. Interesting. Get to the red light district and wait for Salvatore to leave. Yo. What the fuck? Wow. Well, how do I get there? Yo, this is wild. This is a whole different part of Liberty City. What? I didn't know this. This is insane. Oh, shit. Wow. Yo, this story is getting really insane. This is getting really good. Okay, so I can't hang around uh, Luigi's spot for too long. I do still have my sniper. This is actually fucking perfect here. Oh, wow. So I gotta wait what till 1630. Okay. I got it. Girls, 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 sex club. I've only got 17 bullets. I think here we're gonna be a okay. This is gonna be perfect here, dude. This is so perfect. <laughs> Oof, I am going to smoke your ass. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, there they are. They're coming out. Gotta try and hit this guy in the fucking head, though. Wow. There's a truck waiting for him, right? I mean, to be honest, worst case scenario, I can throw a fucking grenade over there. Got him. <laughs> and just for, just for extra measure, I'll throw some granadas. <laughs> so I'm talking about biatch. Uh, so that mission is now passed. I think we've basically cut our ties with the mob. That was cool. All right, guys, we're going to end it here. Um, I think we're in a good spot. It's been an amazing episode. I really love where the story is going. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more GTA 3, drop it a like. And I will catch you on the next one.